Hey guys, I'm making a video tutorial today showing how you guys can create a dreamy effect on Photoshop. Um, so this is the before image um, and then you can see the after image here. So we're going to try recreate this. Um, I've, I have just edited this and we're going to try recreate it with a new raw file. So just show you again before and after. So let's click into the raw file that we have. And I, um, so I shot this, well, my friend shot this in New York, um, and behind me is Manhattan and I am standing in Brooklyn and we shot this quite, um, late at night. So the first thing you'll notice is that the image is very dark. So the first thing we're going to do before we touch colors or anything like that, we're going to get the basic exposure adjustments correct. So, um, that would be adjusting the the increasing the exposure. One thing I like to do is turn the highlights all the way down and then bringing it slowly back up to an acceptable level. The reason you want to do this um, is because if you have blown out shadows, uh, actually it um, kills some of the details that were in the image. Um, and you can bring that back out because this is a raw image. Same thing as the shadows, because this is a raw image, some of the details can are retained. Um, that information is saved. So I like to increase the shadows um, and heavily decrease the highlights. I also like to decrease the contrast. Um, okay. yep. That looks pretty good so far. We're not going to touch the white balance just yet. Um, and white balance is very powerful. And it can completely change the vibe of the photo. You see, if I go for um, a more magenta look, it gives a whole different vibe. And if I go to a greeny look, you kind of get that film style. Um, same thing with temperature. Completely changes the vibe of the photo. And you can, of course, mix and match them. Uh, for now, we'll come back to this. The texture, I'm going to, um, because we're going for that dreamy look, I'm going to decrease all, uh, all three of these. So you can see what, what it looks like. So if I pull texture up and if I put texture down, um, I'm quite happy with this. Vibrance, uh, let's go like this. I always like to pull the vibrance up and the saturation down. Curve, one thing I like doing as a stylistic choice is pulling the black and dragging that up like this. And so you, what, you'd, what you notice is that the black becomes a bit of a gray, so there's actually no pure black in this image anymore. And what this does is it gives it a very nice cinematic look and feel. So I quite like this. Cool, that's pretty good. Um, let's do this. I always like to apply, um, an auto adjustment to the geometry. And, um, because this will take on ISO 4000, you can see it's a very noisy image. So we're going to apply a noise reduction. If we go all the way to a hundred, um, wait for it to load. You'll notice now the image looks like a painting. That's probably too far, unless that's the style you're trying to go for. I'm going to um, just do it. Find a good level, maybe around here. Around 29. Cool. So now um, let's move on to the colors. One thing I like to do is bring the blue primary all the way to this teal look. So this is this is minus 100. Um, it's quite extreme and you can see it's completely ruined my skin tone color into a red. Uh, but I quite like um, I quite like the vibe of this. So this is just my style. But that's too extreme. So I'm going to do maybe minus 24. I'm going to bring some of that. Um, red back into the orange to make the skin tone something more natural i 
I think the jacket is taking away a lot of um, attention from the photo, so I'm exper experimenting with turning down the reds. Um, same with the sky, the, the blue sky here. I want the attention to be more on me and the um, city buildings behind me. So I'm going to experiment with turning down the blues and the aquas. You can see I've turned it all the way down. It's created a whole different vibe, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go with minus around here, minus 29. Luminance. I'm going to br put, uh, bring up the oranges to brighten my face and the buildings behind me. Cool. And you can see if I bring up the blues, it looks like now it's taken during the day. Where that's, um, I still want to portray that this was taken quite late at night. Cool. Still feels a little bit dark, so I'm going to see if I can bring it up a little bit more. Cool, quite happy with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Because um, I've already done it. And now you can see this one. There's actually this dreamy effect here. And I like to do this in a lot of my images. It's a, I forgot what this effect is called. But I did learn it from another photographer. And I'll just quickly demonstrate how to do it. So you have this original image here. First thing you're going to do, you're going to create a duplicate. You're going to rasterize the layer. Uh, you're going to apply image, make sure it's on multiply. Click OK. Uh, change the layer to a screen. Filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And now you can see it as I play with the levels, you can see this creates a really nice dreamy effect. Um, personally, as a stylist, stylistic choice, I like to do two. So the first one I do would be a smaller one. Um, and uh, I'm just going to do it again. So rasterize it. Image, apply image, multiply, okay. Oh, crap. Screen, blur, Gaussian blur. And I like to do a bigger one maybe around here. And for the big one, I like to turn the opacity all the way down to maybe 20%. And for the stronger one, I quite like it. So I'm gonna keep most of it. And one thing I like to do is removing me from the glow. I quite like how it's on my shirt, so I'm gonna keep it on my shirt. Uh, I'll remove it. Cool, so that's how you create this nice dreamy effect in Photoshop. Might turn that a little bit down. Cool, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you guys want a tutorial for anything else.